Lynette, these cards are sticky. I know. Preston used the three of diamonds to scoop jam out of the jar. If what he's about to discuss has anything to do with adultery, prostitution, or internet pornography, I would really appreciate you taking a moral hard line. Lynette? I'm in. I'll make braised lamb shank. Yeah, well, you'll be cruising so fast on this, no one will even notice. Son of a... It's a business meeting. It's a frat party. Beautiful. I don't need a pamphlet. It's not brain surgery. They're just kids, for God's sake. Come on, don't be petulant. Just pick up the stupid can. No, I can pick it up. Honey, stay out of this. Nurses at your office may start wondering why you're disappearing three times a week. Tennis lessons are a plausible alibi. As the sun slowly settled on Wisteria Lane, an unsettled Susan racked her brain to find a way into her own house. I remember the easy confidence of her smile, the gentle elegance of her hands, the refined warmth of her voice. I don't know. Rex announced that he and Bree are in counseling. She retaliated with this whole revelation, which I won't even go into now, and the bottom line is he stormed out. You, you can afford a cabin, but you can't scrape up child support? You walked out on your family. People think you're scum, not me. So worry about yourself. I'm okay with me. I can walk down the street and hold my head high. Lying naked in her shrubs, it occurred to Susan this could be the most humiliating moment of her life. True confessions. Carlos and I once broke a waterbed in Cancun. How'd you manage that? Oh, he used to have a thing for spiked heels. I locked myself out of my house stark naked and got caught by Mike. You know what your problem is? You're very tense. You should go to a spa or go shopping. And find a way to relax. Hey. <laughs> How was your night? We are raising little terrorists. You know that, don't you? Yeah. What are you doing? I'll be quick. Brandy? I'm sorry for the way I treated you. It was uncalled for and childish, and it won't happen. And my drop shot could use a serious tune-up. Think you can give me the number of your pro? I just need to chill out for the next few days. Oh, Tom. There'll be liquor and hors d'oeuvres and grown-ups without children and, and, and silverware. Remember silverware? Being such a perfect gentleman. Oh, I wasn't a perfect gentleman. I might have stuck a peak. Oh! was a look of fear in her eyes. Brie had started to realize her world was unraveling, and for a woman who despised loose ends, that was unacceptable. But when I say, we've been invited to a party, don't whine about your exhausting 60-hour week. Put on your dancing shoes and take the mother of your children out for a good time. I'm not really ready for this. I was going to have a whole speech prepared. Brandy and I have plans tomorrow. I suggest you wing it. Honey, can you take this in for me? Have you heard anything I just said? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm wiped out. Three cities in six days. My head is just pounding. I'm not ready for a dinner party. Rex gone for good? I don't know. God, I hope not. I mean, they've always been wound a little tight, but I've never seen them like that. Then again, who am I to judge? What she didn't know was, John had left behind a souvenir. I'm sorry, he's just always giving me the creeps. Haven't you guys noticed he has this dark thing going on? There's something about him that just feels malignant. Yeah. God only knows what she's had to deal with in her life. Abject poverty, drugs, domestic violence, maybe even molestation. By the way, if I didn't make it clear yesterday, I absolutely did not do that thing you accused me of. But what kind? An acquaintance? A stranger? Or how about a neighbor that lives a few feet away? But unfortunately for Lynette, this new label frequently fell short of what was advertised. Did you and Mike come together? I saw him over in the fresh produce aisle. It's my own fault for not hiding the cup. 
Obviously, if you're capable of arson, I should have known you'd be capable of breaking and entering. Scene of a hate crime today, when Jonathan Lisko, local gay activist and part-time female impersonator, was brutally attacked in his home. Lisko speculated the attack was in response to his efforts to secure same-sex partner insurance coverage from his employer, Cliffside Cable. Police are circulating this sketch of the assailant. I hesitate bringing this up, since you got so ugly about it last time. They don't have attention deficit disorder, and I'm not going to drug my boys just to make your job easier. Whatever. You lied, so stop pretending like you have some sort of moral. It's not gonna work, okay? I'm not budging. It looked to be an interesting afternoon on Wisteria Lane. A mysterious cassette tape had been discovered by my friend Bree. What is that scent? Is that sage and citrus? It's amazing. Oh, Susan, being coy is a strategy best employed by virgins at their first dance. For women of our age, it's just a no- Mom, it's not brain surgery. You'll stand guard while I crawl through Mrs. Hooper's doggy door. Once inside, I'll find the measuring cup. So I left the door to the art supply cupboard open for five minutes. That's all. Five minutes. Well, guess I've done my good deed for the day. <laughs> Yes, labels are important to the living. They dictate how people see themselves. I used to run a company with 85 people, and now I can't wrangle three small boys without doping them. God's sakes, Carlos, it's Yao Lin's. Our maid wears size 13 gym socks? No, she dusts with... Well, it's a, a limited engagement, and it's sold out. I've only got two tickets. I was just thinking of that expression, I'll make mincemeat out of you. Mincemeat? used to be an entree made up of mostly chopped meat, so it was like saying, I'll chop you up into little bits. <laughs> oh, so glad to be playing frisbee again. Here you go, coming at you. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm staying for the show. I'm dying to see what all the fuss is about. Imagine what you would lose if Carlos finds out you're trimming more than the hedges. I don't like lying. Yeah, well, I don't like your ironing, so there. What's that? A piece of Mike's junk man we got by mistake. I held on to it in case of an emergency. I love this mug. If I medicate them, are they still gonna make me a mug like this? You know, it's leaking. Yeah, I know. Susan likes Mike? Where the hell have you been, Martha? She's been lusting after him ever since he moved in. Listen to her. She always overcompensates when she's worried. If the school and the pediatrician both think the twins could stand to be medicated, then what's the problem? That's someone's little girl. And that someone probably had a lot of dreams for her. Dreams that did not include a thong and a pole. See? Socks instead of rags. I've got you these. So from now on, we can't let Carlos see you around the house wearing anything resembling a gym sock. You want me to mow your lawn in sandals? I lose it. Hey. You like Alfred Hitchcock? But they were doing a retrospective down at the Rialto. Oh, good Lord, Susan. You burned your rival's house down. If that isn't desperate, I don't know what is. I hated taking baths when I was a kid. Of course, back then, the only thing I had to play with was my rubber ducky. She was known for her power lunches, her eye-catching presentations, and her ruthlessness in wiping out the competition. Your boys work quickly. Well, obviously, they will be punished for this severely. I suppose I do owe you an apology. Careful. I wouldn't want you to strain yourself. If you think I'm going to apologize for taking you out of a strip club, you're wrong. I consider it one of my finest moments. But they're not making me want to tear my hair out. They're actually really sweet. I know he moved out. Well, it's just temporary and... When I was alive, I maintained many different identities. Lover, wife, and ultimately victim. The school regulations are pretty strict about me wrestling with the boys. But if you want to give it a shot, be my guest. I adore the holidays. I never get depressed if there's a beautifully decorated tree to look at. No one would authorize lab time or a computer search for a case like this. It's, it's just not a priority. Two DUIs, one check kiting, and an open bench warrant. How tragic. 
By which I mean yay. <laughs> News that an intruder had breached the security of Wisteria Lane spread like wildfire. The next day, as residents began to patrol Wisteria Lane in the hopes of foiling potential burglars, Gabrielle was about to experience a home invasion of her own. I don't know where that blouse came from. Security! All right, keep your stupid blouse. I'm gonna have to find my daughter in law. Don't touch me! Don't you dare touch me! Ma'am? Well, no one noticed when my mother went across the street to give the neighbors a gift. And the next thing we heard were brakes screeching. That's how it is with me. A guy just smiles at me three times and I'm picking out wedding china. I'm a mess. But to be fair, that's part of your charm. Her misfortunes ranged from the commonplace to the unusual <laughs> to the truly bizarre. Well, time flies when you're on a stakeout in Cracktown. <laughs> She's watching her Mexican soap opera. The rebel's virgin daughter is about to be seduced by the escaped desperado. You think Mike is a Carl in disguise? I don't know. Your boy is usually so docile. They're always a little shy at first. I know who you are. You're a Carl in disguise. I'm done with you. All of you. Oh, come on, drama queen. What? What are you doing? Where are you going? It's not safe. I'd rather take my chances on the street, thank you very much. Ah, uh, why do I always pick the psycho? <laughs> I've given her everything she ever wanted, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. I feel her drifting further and further away. I'm gonna make roast turkey and candied yams and eggnog. Have you ever had real old-fashioned eggnog? No, I don't think so. Oh, you are gonna love it. It has quite a kick. But how are we going to scrape together 15 grand for this endowment? Uh, how, how, how? Well, we have several yachting enthusiasts here at Barcliffe Academy. I'd be happy to introduce them to you. Oh, that Wonderful. sounds great. If we decide to enroll your children. Okay, I'm going to the lingerie store. Good, I need some Ross. I'm going to be a while, and I, I might get a facial. I have a face. Is it supposed to be so tight? <laughs> Yes, it's form-fitting. You're gonna look great. Did you hear there was a break-in at Mrs. Frome's the other night? Yeah. I heard they didn't take anything. Well, that doesn't make it any less frightening. I mean, he could have been a, a sexual predator. Helen Vale spoke of a ruthless local teenage gang that had egged her minivan. It's pretty scary. Well, it's not really so much scary as highly developed. Yeah, yeah they, they, they bark and, and growl yeah, at I'm each sorry. other. When I looked out the window, I saw all of my mother's blood on the street and... Nobody was doing anything about it, so I got a hose and I washed it off. And once it was clean, I felt so much better. Lynette hatched a plan to break her children into Barcliffe Academy. Wow. This place is just immaculate. My mom liked things clean. We'll have our impromptu holiday dinner, I promise. Oh, Mama, you're in a rut. We need to spice up your wardrobe. Oh, yeah. Try this one on. Go on. One of your neighbors reported seeing someone forcing his way into your home. We sent some guys out to investigate, and, uh... This poor kid is scared out of his mind. Oh, for God's sakes, Bree, you're a woman. Manipulate him. That's what we do. But how? I don't know. How did you usually manipulate Rex? Well, I was just about to grab dinner from the motel vending machine, and it occurred to me, what the heck, I'll go out. Is your uh, father here? We were scheduled to do a patrol today. Yeah, just so you know, I've turned on half the pep squad for you. <laughs> you can't be serious. He chopped down one of our pine trees? I'm afraid so. I've never had plum pudding before. I'm serving it this year for Christmas. We were all singing carols, and the dog was howling because everybody in my family sings off key, except for me. Anyway, it was just a terrible ruckus. Well, if you pray hard enough, God gives you the tools to your salvation. Hey! Screwdriver girl. Doesn't make it any less frightening. I mean, he could have been a, a sexual predator. When oh, he ended up at Mrs. Frome's? As she waved goodbye, she worried that Susan's streak of bad luck would continue. For that matter, so did her cat.
But Mrs. Vandekamp mentioned that they were identical twins? Yes, completely identical. You, you can't tell them apart. They're like bookends. <laughs> well, we do strive for diversity here at Barcliff. Identical twins could make for an interesting addition. Do you have a pair of gloves? It's the suburbs. I didn't think it mattered. We may no longer be able to accommodate them. Ultimatums were made.